whether this is the way start with another video on the channel today we're teaching you how i can do a remote development using real 3 d code i recently switched from a jetbrains ide to real 3 d code which i never thought i would do i'm doing it just because of one feature called remote development so what remote development is basically you can you know open a folder from an external computer using ssetching into it and then do a remote development there. And the good part is you can even debug the code which is running on a remote computer. You can do that on any EC2 instance on Amazon or any droplet or even in the Docker Contin, which is amazing. I'm gonna be showing you how you can do that. So I've got a Raspberry Pi, which I use for all the development now. I install Node, Python, Java, everything runs there. And using Vue Studio Code, I can search into it and then do the development. The reason why I am really switching to real 3D code is because of this feature, because this feature allow me to actually switch from computer to computer. If I'm working on Windows or if I'm working on Linux or a Mac, uh, for some reason, I wanna make sure that there is one computer which sits somewhere else, which has all my code. So I don't have to set up anything onto every single computer I switch through, which is really, really helpful. So it's very simple. I'm gonna take you to my computer and show you how I do it. Okay, so I've got a VS Code open. First thing, you need to go to extension section and search for remote. Here you will see remote development extension. It's basically a pack of these three extensions, so remote SSH, remote container, remote WSL. So if you're on Windows, you wanna remote into your uh, Linux subsystem, you can do that by using this one. If you wanna work on a Docker container, you can do that by using remote container. And then you got remote SSH, which I use to SSH into Raspberry Pi, and I do my development there. So I've already installed that. So once you install this, you will see this green mesh icon at the bottom left. So what you can do is you can click on this, it will bring up this command palette and you can click on connect to host and you go add a new SSH and here you want to type SSH and then a username which is Ubuntu at 192.168.1.13 so this is my you know uh, Raspberry Pi IP address on a local network so I press enter press enter and I will click on connect and then here you get the new window so I'm just going to type the password I'll close this window. And then now if I go to File Explorer, I can click on Open Folder. And then here you can see I am actually seeing the file system of a Raspberry Pi, which is running Ubuntu 20. So now I can go to one of the folder, which is a dev folder. And then there's a code, which is this one. I can click OK. And basically that would open up the folder and it looks like it is actually running locally, but it's actually not. So now what I can do here is, as you can see, it, it actually opens the terminal as well. Whatever is happening in that you know, session, it will show you. I'm gonna stop the session. And now I can do, let me just do npn command there. So npn debug script. And I will run this one. I can show you the package.json as well. And this is the script that I ran. Now it says debugger attached. So that means that while I'm coding, I can actually debug the code as well. I really want JetBrains to listen to the requests that people are making to implement this kind of feature. There is uh, there is a, also a ticket in Utrecht for JetBrains. And there's a lot of people are voting for it. So I would really like to see this remote development feature in JetBrains IDE, and I will definitely switch back to WebStrong or IntelliJ. But for now, because this allows me to actually search into Raspberry Pi, which is one computer, and then I can do all my developments. I have one Linux running on a cloud as well, so I can SSH into it and do my code. So this way I don't have to worry about switching to the computer or losing the computer, which is running on a cloud. And I don't want to set up, you know, anything uh, every time I switch to a computer. So all I need is Real Studio Code and then install this the extension and that's it. Now here, another thing is that, let's just say this one, right? If I click on here, 
and you will notice that this is already installed but I want to go to something uh, okay these are all installed so I'm gonna go to recommended and if I click on this beautify you'll see an option here it says install in SSH so basically you can install these extension uh, to the remote computer as well which means that anytime you switch to a computer these extension will be available so you don't lose your uh, VS Code setup that's that's really good as well oh yeah thanks for watching if you like this video uh, subscribe to the channel give this video a thumbs up and I talk to you guys in the next one Chase.